Hi guys, it's Sarah from sarahstexturecrafts.com and welcome to the show. This is Dreaming in Fibre. So how have you guys been? Well, I hope. I know. September, wasn't it, when we last spoke? <coughs> Sorry, you're going to have to excuse me. I've had the flu, um, which has kind of been brought on by doing all of those shows that I did back to back from the end of September so uh, that's kind of where I've been if I've not been um, at a show or prepping for a show then I've kind of been sick <laughs> pretty much so yeah I'm I'm hoping that will see the back of that now that I'm I've got the shows behind me and that I'll be able to um, get better so that I can enjoy a nice Christmas some time off I think I feel <laughs> so um, I wasn't going to go through every single show with you in amazing detail but I did want to thank everybody who came out to see me. Um, you've been amazingly um, supportive as always and it's been really nice to catch up with you all and I've really thoroughly enjoyed myself. I've also learnt very much so that 2017 needs to be a bit of a year of a rest for me. So I'm not going to do as many shows as I have done this year. I think. Um, all in all I think I did about 13 shows which doesn't sound like a lot but when you're um, having to uh, add in sort of extra workload time in terms of preparation and then you've got <coughs> sorry excuse me um, the actual time it takes to do the shows which is often weekends and then sort of come down from that and prep for the next one it you know and prepping for the website and all the rest of it it's definitely been a challenging year so the promise to myself is I'm going to do a few less next year uh, so definitely won't be 13 um, probably looking um, well under 10 probably around six or seven I might do next year I don't know we shall see yet um, but anyway um, thank you as ever for supporting me uh, in 2016 for those shows because it was it was really brilliant um, to see all of you so what have I been up to? Well, I just thought I would give a really quick mention to um, some of the people who um, put a smile on my face um, during the shows um, by doing swaps and things with me and sort of do a little bit of an, an, an enabling section for you before I get into too much what I've been doing um, for the shop because I've got quite a bit to tell you and a few new bits to show you. So I'm going to start off with some of the bits I picked up. So I want to say thank you to Jo of um, Piccalilli, um, who made these cute little bunting pieces. Um, and you can find Piccalilli on Etsy. Uh, I also want to say thank you to um, Perrin Yarns, who's also known as Six Games on Etsy. I did a swap for a nice, um, I think this is merino, yeah, this is super merino chunky, and it's just a really nice sunsetty colour that I can't wait to get my hands into. I also want to say um, thank you to <coughs> um, Siobhan Crafts on Etsy. She, um, I purchased from her some uh, art yarn and this is going to be a necklace um, let me do it there you can see it better I've had a go at coils but mine aren't as anywhere close to perfect as these so um, I thought well why not I'll buy buy some and it's just enough to do um, a nice necklace or something so I'll show you that as I get on and then I also purchased some um, Eden Cottage yarns this is the first I'm having from uh, those guys that's their website in case you didn't know them and I bought those on Louise's stall who's Inspiration Knits where I purchased her new book and I got a copy of um, Jolie Creates book as well and it was lovely to meet Jolie <coughs> and then Cece's book as well 
which I can't wait to get started on. So um, as I work on each of those, I will um, I'll go through those and show you. Um, it was really nice catching up with all of the stall holders that I um, I know from shows to shows and meeting some new ones as well. That's that's what I kind of like about getting out and about is that it gives me a chance to sort of get out of um, my own little you know sort of tiny bubble and um, see what's going on out there and, and meet people. So that was really good. I felt um, <laughs> felt pretty cool about getting those bits. So I can't wait to get started on those. And I'm going to start um, a, a small um, sort of vlog, not really a podcast, but just a little tiny video diary every so often. And it's going to be called The Yarn Sampler. Um, details um, of that will happen when I release the first one. So if you're watching on YouTube, and you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is Sarah's Touch of Crafts, then you'll find that in your subscription um, updates um, as a natural course of things, as and when I get to put them out. But what I'm going to do every time I um, dive into um, an independent yarn, um, I'm going to do a little video about it, tell you about it, um, where to get it, and so on. And I thought that was much easier than, you know, so you'll have a whole video on, say, this skein of yarn, as opposed to... Um, me sort of splicing it in with Sarah's Touch of Craft stuff and things like that. Um, it's also part of a, a bit of a new project for me as well so I hope you will follow that and as I say when I've released the first one I'll tell you all about it. Um, so let's get on shall we and um, talk about the shop. I can show you what I've been working on and um, tell you about some of the new things that are happening at Sarah's Touch of Craft. Okay so live on the website you're going to find everything left over from the shows also including some new bits and pieces so I've got lots of new mini skeins as well. You remember that box I showed you last time that was empty? It's full up again so come grab your mini skeins. Um, also on the site I've got creative um, sort of texture bags if you like so you, as you remember I'm giving up the fibre so I'm selling off all of my fibre bits and popping them into cute little inspiration bags so you can use them for spinning, felt making, um, blending to make your own bats and so on and so forth, other textile arts and things. So they've got lots of bits in them. You've got some straight from the farm tops, some merino, some blends, you've got um, some silky bits, wool knops, that kind of thing, um, bits of thread, sparkle and so on. So come and grab those. For 200 grams um, we've got a sale price of £8, so that's at least half price. In fact that's more in some cases um, where they've got some of the expensive silk. So come and grab those off of the site and um, help me finish up my fibre. Um, talking of fibre, um, I have an update on the 1st of December that is going to include the first of my very final updates of the hand dyed tops. So make sure to watch out for that. The second update will be um, a week later on the 8th. Um, I will have Blueface Leicester, I will have um, Falkland Exmoor Blueface, I will have a Cashmere blend, um, I think I might have a Llama blend and so on. It's just there's there's so much <laughs> and I want to get it out there for you so now that I'm feeling well enough to sort of tackle that that's my job for this week. Um, also in that it's going to be the first two of some new yarn bases because I'm not going anywhere I'm just going to continue with the yarn so there'll be no more fibre but there'll be lots of yarn so it means there's going to be lots and lots that I can bring out and show you and I am so excited about these. Okay, so first ones first is this Blueface Leicester blend, which is blended with um, Masham, and it's really quite soft actually, so it's not as harsh as you might think it is, um, and that's going to be, this is four ply, and then I have a DK weight as well available for you. So I'm going to um, post up a lot in its natural undyed state because I just think this kind of oatmeal colour is just so beautiful on its own that it really doesn't even need to be tampered with. And then I'm going to be um, over dyeing um, and creating some new colourways using this base as well. So really excited about that. And then the second one, which I'm just working on a trial piece, is um, 
Falkland Merino which is really beautifully soft and it's this real lovely sort of bitter chocolatey colour um, and again I'm going to put that up in its natural form and then later on um, probably the beginning of next year you'll see both of these in dyed forms so those two will be up on the first um, speaking of making from the Falkland this is a, a DK the Falkland I'm working on a little um, pattern which will be a cowl I'm not going to show you too much of the definition just because it's going to be a, a paid for pattern but it's knitting up lovely and it's just so soft so unbelievably soft so I'm really really pleased with that the other thing that um, all of oops sorry not the camera there um, the other thing that I'm having the time to to be able to explore is things like striping, self striping. I know. <coughs> so I am currently knitting myself um, a pair of socks. Um, this is there's two colours in this, but the way I've dyed it up is if I were to um, dye it up using um, four colours. So as you can see my stripes will always be semi solid. They're not going to be solid, but actually I think that works kind of nice um, so I've done some little swatches so for four colours that's my size sock if you can believe it that's a um, 52 stitch cast on I have um, small feet baby feet this is 64 so you can see it does change slightly and then I did the largest size which is a um, 76 stitch cast on so you can see whilst it still remains striping it pulls and actually I kind of like that um, but as I say this would be if I had four colours so if I stuck to just the two colours that were literally in this ball then each of these stripes would be twice as high twice as deep so I'm enjoying working on that. This is going to be a pair of socks for me for Christmas um, and I've bought in um, enough yarn to start dyeing some self-striping quite soon. So once I've done that I will dye up um, how a, a two colour stripe will look for me, how a um, three colour stripe will look for me and then a four colour. Um, once I've dyed those up I can sample them, we can look at them on the podcast and so on. Um, they can go in the shop so I'm quite excited about that um, I'm just going to pop those away so yeah so I'm, I'm going to have chance to do quite a few more things um, this also means that my podcast will slightly change um, because I'm no longer kind of dreaming in fibre <laughs> because there will be no fibre. I might occasionally get back to doing some um, of my own hand spun if I'm lucky, but because I'm more yarn, I'm going to rename the podcast and it's just gonna be Sarah's Touch of Crafts vlog. Um, the, I probably won't episode number it, I'll probably just give them titles. Um, and so uh, the, the kind of format will change slightly, it will probably, what I would really like to do is kind of show you a bit more behind the scenes so um, each little video might have a sort of theme whether that's geared towards an update like how I you know get this stock in process it um, dye it dry it um, bring it to market as such now there won't be secret sauce recipes I'm afraid to say because that is how I make my living through the dyeing but certainly you'll have a bit more of what it's like behind the scenes for me here um, and I think I hope that will kind of <coughs> sort of set me apart from other um, video podcasters who sit and have a long conversation about what they're knitting on and so on I don't get time to knit as much as I would love to um, and therefore what I generally tend to knit on isn't the most complicated and therefore probably not the most exciting thing in the world so I kind of feel like I need to um, 
switch up the podcast a bit and give you hopefully a bit more of something exciting something different a bit more of a reason to watch so if you've got any ideas any thoughts on that then just post them below the video on youtube and i will um get back to you so finally i just wanted to um give you a bit of heads up of a couple of changes on the website so uh if you've been to the website in the last probably three four weeks maybe a month yeah maybe a month um, I changed my logo and changed the look of the website and that's just to reflect moving forward without fibre so um, there will be in the coming months a few more minor changes that won't really affect um, you in terms of usability of the site um, but will certainly I hope enhance um, your user experience so um, there'll be more information on how things different dye techniques knit up and so on um, and I think it's just generally a chance, an opportunity now that I'm dropping the fibre to sort of rebrand myself as just a yarn dyer. I don't want to say just a yarn dyer because no one's just a yarn dyer, are they? I think that's job enough. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think, it, you know, kind of sort of need to refocus on that. So you, you'll probably find that filtering through on things like labelling and stuff. So... Um, I'll let you know how that goes as that goes on but I think that's pretty much it for today I've not got a huge amount of anything else to tell you and I really don't really want to cough in your ears anymore so um, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time don't forget the um, the podcast name will be changing uh, and I'll probably just put titles out there so make sure if you're watching via my channel or if you're just on YouTube and you've come across me make sure you subscribe at Sarah's Texture Crafts and then uh, I can deliver those to you and just let you know when the next one's up um, don't forget also that if you sign up at Sarah's Texture Crafts dot com on the newsletter you get 10% off your, your next order so make sure you check that out as well so, uh, yes, I'm off to go cut some fibres so that I can start dyeing tomorrow. I've got a mammoth task on my hand and I want to make sure that um, the update is everything you want it to be and more. So watch out for those the 1st and the 8th of December, OK? Hopefully I will pop in, uh, even if it's just for a couple of minutes, and catch you up and let you know that that's live. OK, so I'll catch you soon, guys. Cheers.